they wanted they didn't have intelligence to document this by the spirit listen carefully the Holy Spirit is the wisdom of God the Holy Spirit is not an archangel the Holy Spirit is not an anointing no the Holy Spirit has a physical form a real form he conceals his form because of his ministry on earth to glorify and testify of Jesus the Holy Spirit is not a shapeless wing he has a real form your intimacy can warrant his revealing his form to you he has a form can be seen please hear me the only way I can teach you about the ministry of the Holy Spirit is to borrow a thing to do with a man and a woman a man and a woman were only two people brought together to act it out so that men can understand marriage is a reality that existed long in the realm of the spirit is God's system of partnership he coined a word and introduced man into it that's why Paul began to speak and this is what he says wife let me use somebody as a wife now anybody come make sure you're not married though, so nobody thinks I'm carrying the wife listen carefully husbands Paul is sharing roles now by the spirit please listen I want you to understand the Holy Spirit and we we'll pray he says husbands do what help me please love your wives based on a standard what is the standard as Christ not how you want the moment you love your wife how you want you are already against God's will you cannot love your wife the way you want there is a standard that has nothing to do with your will your only will is to not marry but if you will marry you must subscribe to that standard are we together and then he says as Christ loved the church so you have to study how Christ loved the church number one while we were yet sinners unqualifying and undeserving in due season he died for us number two till today he still makes intercession for us before the father this is how he loved us number three he didn't only die for us he covered us so all of these things are your roles to your wife he gave us his name and with that name there are possibilities that would not have happened but he brought us into that name the name is not a pronunciation the name is an office the name is not j-e-s-u-s -S. that's why you called it and nothing happened the name is an office it's, it's a language of governance it's a name and the name is not jesus the name is lord Lord is the office that Jesus entered at his resurrection not the name the earth is the the Lord said to my that was the coronation we are Bible people now watch this so he tells your own role and he says I speak of Christ and the church so the Holy Spirit has come and as extension an extension of the ministry of Christ then he comes to the woman who is the bride of Christ the church you and me this is her responsibility wives submit come under the governing authority of your husband in all things you are given a will but hand it back over as though a fool trusting the responsibility of your husband to prove that you are not foolish the submission of a woman only looks fruitful when the man can love if the man cannot love her submission turns her to a fool submission is only useful if you trust the love of the man so watch this the Holy Spirit John 15 right I will send you another comforter right and then when he comes this and that will happen he will be with you and walk with you many people know the Holy Spirit in them I introduce to you the Holy Spirit with you don't claim you know it very easily this is the secret of ministry it's not the holy spirit in you it's the holy spirit you cannot relate to what is in you you can relate to what is this is partnership the woman was in the man but there was no fellowship she had to be brought out of the man from in him to with him that's what made marriage possible you can't relate to a wife in you when God was blessing man there was no need for fellowship so the woman was in the man when the blessing was spoken but when it had to do with relationship 
listen carefully we're rounding up now watch this this is my wife we stand and we are married watch this it's not only that she carries this and that and that if she comes for a meeting like this and says on behalf of my husband i pledge 10 million even if we did not discuss it she has implicated me because she's my wife and if she truly is my wife it's none of your business i should give you your 10 million and we'll go and tear ourselves at home and mend ourselves back correct so every time she moves she is an image of a reality the only difference is that i can be seen listen carefully so now assuming i am invisible is she alone so when she comes watch this lift your hands darling she lifts her hands you are only seeing the hands of one person but my charisma, my integrity covenanted through marriage is with her you want to beat her i am standing but i'm still real so you are so close to her but you cannot touch her what is immune in you marriage 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 you see her with an atm that does not have her name yet she has access to it with so much authority she slots it in and it brings money yet it is never in her name the day you see it in her name is a sign she's not ready to be a wife listen pastors are you a wife every man must first be a wife in the spirit to be a good husband you must know what it means to be a wife look at me let me submit to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ everything you have heard and seen in my life and our ministry that is noteworthy is simply a product of being a good wife I have mastered being a good wife to a husband that though invisible is real so everywhere I come I don't come alone when you clap for me I am wise enough like a wise woman should and say look I'm not here alone my husband when you come to a house and they cook very nice meal after you eat and wash your hand you say Kai madam you are really nice and then a wise woman say I appreciate my husband though when they see you and say madam you are so fresh since your marriage but the greatest part of marriage is what I want to introduce to you now we're rounding up listen there is something in marriage called intimacy listen carefully intimacy is a system of culmination of marriage where a man meets with his wife now when the man meets his wife listen to me carefully something begins to happen to her not him her all of a sudden her physiology begins to alter as a testimony her appetite even outside of her own volition all of a sudden she wants to eat rice that has the smell of smoke and you are like you as neat as you are something there is pregnancy listen carefully so you start suspecting you were not like this before what happened and you say have you forgotten that i'm married oh you are married that's true are we together Give us 1 Samuel chapter 10, verse 5 and 6. While I continue talking. 1 Samuel 10, 5 and 6. Everybody listen. This woman gets, and then at a point, you find out that her physiology is so altered. And then, watch this. After nine months, like Zion, she travels and goes to the hospital. Now watch this. And then she gives birth to an entity that is both husband and wife that entity every time you see that child you know that that child is half husband for as long as the child is when you see the child he looks like his father but i can see his mother that child is the wheelchairs when they see they say i saw your hand but i saw another thing in that miracle that is not you supernatural speed yes i saw you signing the contract but what happened after i don't know i saw that you were supposed to have an accident but 20 years later you are still moving very happily as if the devil does not exist brothers and sisters 
this is what happens those who are not married in the realm of the spirit are vulnerable in the physical is all right but in the realm of the spirit pastors go to church with him don't invite him when you get to church go to church with him do business with him raise children with him write exams with him don't just carry his cloth on you when you walk with him he does something to you read this but the hand of the Lord first Samuel 10 10 please and then give us verse 5 help us media 10 first Samuel chapter 10 after that this is Samuel the life of Saul is about to change he says thou shalt come to the hill of God wherein is the garrison of the Philistines and it shall come to pass when thou art come to the city that thou shalt meet a company of prophets coming down from the high place with psaltery and tablet and pipe and harp before them they shall sing and prophesy go to verse okay go ahead verse 6 and the and some kind a similitude of marriage will happen to you like a woman that we always see and then all of a sudden possibilities will be activated in you that were not there and you shall be turned and you shall be turned they know you they know you're a man of God 20 minutes they are already sleeping but you just go for a conference and all of a sudden you stand on stage and they say no no something has been introduced something watch this listen creation let me use some please god bless you please come sir watch this let me have okay just stand there life has always been obedient it only depends on the command given to it and the command is not just given by you alone listen creation was designed to walk in partnership with you to fulfill your destiny if it fights you another communication is being ministered to them that is outside of your supervision this is where the anointing comes in listen carefully please this guy was designed by god to be a destiny helper for me but there is nothing on me there is no marriage come and pass me sir and we meet and he goes no favor because there is nothing calling him now I come for a conference and something comes upon my life come again he's about to leave and something is calling him and he turns back he had no business turning back Kabola Kata but an, an agency an ability all of a sudden activates it and he says I know you somewhere nobody has a business blessing you but something happens members have no business coming to your church but all of a sudden that something is called the anointing that something is called God's ability listen carefully that something is an unction is a mantle is a grace is an activator of possibilities it does not suggest things it creates realities listen please listen to me I want you to get this It doesn't take time it only takes what is speaking your destiny helpers are all around you but they never come by themselves they are called the sick don't just stand up because the Bible says they shall lay hands you do it and see you've heard me say it the anointing does not make the difference the anointing is the difference no it doesn't make the difference look at my life makes the difference it is the difference that's what rewards your coming for a conference and staying so long what is the guarantee brothers and sisters that your life will change I have a guarantee obedient creation is still obedient never is it has been disobedient to you something can be introduced in a man's life brothers and sisters that will take you to a dimension you never dreamt possible something can be introduced in your life 
you will work more miracles unconsciously than you will do consciously you are not even aware somebody comes and sits on your bed and gets up and his genotype changes it's not about big manism you are a witness and evidence it's not i am a man of god if i am a man of please if you're a man of god let us see it all that grammar is not what the bible is looking for realities you see me speak like this it sounds like pride it's not it is how real the holy spirit and the anointing he introduces this lady again please come wife one last time this lady probably came from a poor family and comes to meet me a very wealthy person probably she was cleaning this auditorium and i am the owner simply because i was interested in her her own role is to say yes yes changed her life yes changed her life her clothes are changed god never gives people ownership in the kingdom ownership is a sign of rebellion he gives access the prodigal son had access he wanted ownership that's when luck started ownership means in your name by your strength it was done by me you have been building the church by your strength you will put every strategy and it won't work but when you get married i've been filled with the holy ghost that's not what i'm asking you i know but i'm asking you to get married today you are too small low for the challenges of life you will be speaking by yourself i prophesied as my husband commanded me i didn't just speak to the mountain like that that's the mistake we make the mountain has no respect for you i prophesied so you don't just tell sick people stand up just because you are joshua selman respect the realm of the spirit there is a password there is a code Are we together? This is the secret of ease in life. By the Spirit. When I found this, I rejoiced. Because my background notwithstanding. When I found this, there was no need for anger and hatred and annoyance. Pastors fighting people. Business is a lie. All those reasons are nonsense. Your husband is responsible enough to change your life. As long as you are a wife. And you can acknowledge him. So when people say apostle joshua selman you see pastor that's why i love i love pastor so much when they are commending me and saying many things i just sit down and i'm wondering wondering when they called i noticed something and you'll be shocked sir that's your wife right and when they called her to take the offering i saw how he whispered to her go very proudly like her husband that's right when she came and she was talking i said hey this is a man of god's wife that's what happens so you look ordinary you go for a meeting you know every time we come down from the airport going for different meetings from here lagos we are going to port Harcourt, we're on transit and then they look at you most times when we come down from the airport people look at me and they are shocked and disappointed just see me on my polo earphone and is this him you only saw the wife <laughs> only saw the wife Lord you reign and you rule over all unto you we ascribe all the praise the husband is a lion Lord you reign and you rule over all I may not be capable but unto you I ascribe all the praise. Listen, Lion of Judah, reign. Lion of Judah, reign. Hey, Lion of Judah, reign. Lion of Judah, reign. Lord, you reign and you rule over sickness. I have no power in myself, but unto you. We ascribe all the praise. That's a wife acknowledging her husband. Lord, you reign and you rule over all. Every situation, every circumstance, unto you 
We ascribe all the praise Just the voices Lion of Judah Ray. Come on Abel Kuta Let's acknowledge the husband Of a frail wife But a worried one a frail wife, but a mighty one. Come on. Lion of Judah, Ray. 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 Listen, let me teach you something. It says Yahweh. That's his name. Yahweh, I'm married to Yahweh, the miracle worker, the destiny changer, 